Hello everyone, Mike here. Welcome to Flat Earth, where we as Flat Earthers seek the truth. So, uh, come to find out, they've lied, but not just about some things, they've lied about everything. What you're looking at here is a microwave tower, and this video is about the new 5G coming out. Folks, are we close to the end? That is very interesting. But anyways, this tower is producing microwaves probably around 2.4 gigahertz. That is standard. They want to crank the power of these microwaves up to 60 gigahertz folks that's what your microwave operates so this can't be good we know that everything is electromagnetic and we're already having trouble with earth's electromagnetic field uh, for example hawaii volcano magnetic field goes opposite direction sending compasses crazy yes it flipped the compasses the other way and uh, they talk about all this lava flow and they they say here at the bottom that these um, yeah, we're uh, 780,000 year old rocks okay were causing the compasses to spin around but folks being flat earthers we we check past what the media tells us because we know they're probably lying we pulled up a government earth's magnetic field map and this is what you find on the day those uh, volcanic activity was happening. And so what you see here is a big blue spot in the magnetic field over Hawaii. And what's going on here is uh, the northern hemisphere has magnetic vertices that turn counterclockwise. Well, because things are going really strange with their magnetic field right now, these guys started to turn clockwise. And when they started to turn clockwise, it started to create static electricity, which built up a charge. And static electricity finds the point of least resistance, which is the ground in Hawaii, which build up pressure in the caverns of Hawaii with pressure and static electricity, which heated up, causing glass, uh, the glass and stuff in the rocks to melt, causing the lava flows. And this is why uh, we get pictures of Hawaii that looks like this, which you see here is lightning, or it's actually plasma. Uh, an electromagnetic event. This is what's causing the lava to uh, heat up and it all this happened from above. This was not uh, ground related. This was our magnetic field doing something crazy related and our magnetic field we have tracked many things, many crazy things are going on right now and I'm not going to take time in this video to mention all of them because they're too numerous but I'll just say that things are changing. All right. So let's get back to this 5G here. And why should we be concerned about this? Well, let me tell you how this works a little bit. All right, here we have an electromagnetic wave spectrum. And for any of these waves to work, they have to propagate through a field. Okay, all waves only work if they're going through a field, kind of like uh, ripples in a pond. If you drop a uh, rock in a pond, the waves will spread out because the waves are in a field, which would be the water. Our electromagnetic field is down here at the very end, okay? It is vibrating on that frequency very, very at the very bottom, even past this probably. And so these different waves have to propagate through our own electromagnetic field to actually work. Radio waves, for example, are waves that we can hear. And they are on a very low wave spectrum. And they're fine. But if you increase these waves, if you increase the gigahertz or the power to these waves, then radio waves can actually fracture glass. Let's look at the microwave. Right now, our cell phone towers are broadcasting at about 2.4 gigahertz. And so the waves, for the most part, are harmless. Okay, But if you increase the power of this wave in the microwave spectrum, you can cook your food. And this is what they want to put in open public these microwave towers so that we can watch your videos faster I mean how how fast can you watch a video anyways right and this is what they're doing so these are safe okay unless you increase the power of them and once you increase the power well then you start cooking things and this is the big problem because uh, microwaves uh, vibrate water in your body and can cause all kinds of trouble, especially for your eyes, your uh, your glands, uh, fertility, uh, once you increase the power of these waves. And we have the infrared, the visible light spectrum, which are eye, the cones in our eyes. We can uh, pick up these waves in that spectrum. And then we have x-rays and gamma rays. Now these are at such a high frequency 
that they just pass through things with little or no effect, okay? And so this is why when Fukushima blew up, all this radiation supposedly went everywhere, the, the gamma rays or whatever. Um, you know, they start, NASA started running news stories about this, and all of a sudden, everything closed down. They just shut everything up because it was in a too populated area. Nobody got sick. Nobody was harmed by the radiation. Why? Because radiation, for the most part, is harmless. It's at a frequency that just passes through your body without affecting anything. But when you get on this side of the spectrum, when you start getting in radio waves, radio waves vibrate things. Microwaves vibrate things. And you increase the power of these type of frequencies, then we have a problem. All right? So I just wanted to explain to you a little bit how waves work as they're propagating through our magnetic field. The other question I have, when you kick up microwaves to 60 gigahertz, what effect does it have on our own electromagnetic field? I mean, we're already spraying up there barium and chromium, and barium is a, a magnetic particulate that's radioactive. It's inert. It's, it's harmless, but you spray enough of that. How is that affecting our own magnetic field, which controls weather, can control volcanoes, control... Uh, hurricanes could control waves being formed off our uh, one of our vortices. I mean, uh, flooding. What effect is this 5G going to have on our own electromagnetic field when you power a wave at this low a spectrum that is uh, powered high enough to cook food? Very, very interesting. Now, an uh, article here uh, by the in fullertoninformer.com claims that these new microwaves are part of a fertility uh, a fertility thing where people cannot have as high as birth rates. In other words, they're going to cut population according to the Georgia, uh, Georgia Stone guidelines that they want to decrease population. And obviously, this is what they've already done. And I'm going to put this link in the description. You can read through here and see everything that they're saying about this that it's most definitely something to be concerned about. Um, right now, they've got every, they hooked everybody on being wireless, being connected, uh, having that cell phone glued to their hand, always in their pocket. So now they have a way to broadcast 5Gs, that's 60 gigahertz of microwave energy to your person and cook you live, <laughs> all right? So that that's what they're planning, to reduce population. And we already see statistics of this. What else do we have here? Well, um, now they say this is not tested and they have not uh, done any studies to see if this is harmful. But that is not true. Here is a document from the United States Navy. And they're studying just radio waves and microwaves. Okay? And this is because radio waves are harmless, microwaves are harmless, but if you add power to them, not so much. They become deadly. And this is what the Navy found out, and this is what's going to be going on, of uh, the things that these, uh, these symptoms people are going to start having all over. Um, alteration in the diameter of blood vessels. Yes, when you vibrate blood vessels at a certain frequency, they they start changing and, and, and dilating. Uh, changes in oxidative processes in tissues and organs. Uh, microwave energy at that, at that gigahertz, okay, that power uh, affects your body on how you absorb oxygen, okay? It's going to affect your body on how your skin absorbs vitamin D from the sun. Uh, altered uh, fetal development, increased lacerations, and nursing mothers, and I mean this list is long, hemorrhaging in lungs, liver, guts, and brain, uh, death, well that, that's pretty generalized there, dehydration, restlessness, being awake, headaches, I mean the list is long, all right, and so as all, as this 5G takes effect, people are going to ex start experience all these things, because folks, they already tested this, they know what's going to happen. They're already fully aware of what they're going to be doing to people here. All right. Now, I'm going to bring up some scripture. Jesus said, For nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. I want you to know earthquakes and famines we can explain because of the way our magnetic field is. All right. 
uh, it's our electromagnetic field where you see a lot of earthquakes, you're always going to see plasma or lightning. Why? Because it's all electromagnetically connected to a bob. It's not plate shifting necessarily in the ground causing these things. Everything is caused by our electromagnetic field, and our electromagnetic field's messed up right now. But this pestilence is here. Pestilences. Where are all these pestilences going to come from? And I think we have kind of maybe our answer here, and that is in this document here. Look at this. Dizziness, hallucination, sleeplessness, insomnia, increased irritability. It sounds like pestilence to me. All right, so the only saving grace here is when you increase microwave frequencies to 60 gigahertz, they have a really crummy range, okay, because our atmosphere, for the most part, is going to absorb most of it when you increase them at that at, at that power. Okay, so you would most likely be safe in your home as long as you're not silly enough to go buy one of their devices to hook it up in your home so you can broadcast inside your home. That would be crazy. Or you're silly enough to keep using your smartphone, okay? Um, but people that are smart will stop using their smartphones and, and or use them on a limited basis and not have any of these uh, devices in their home. On the outside, they're going to have to increase the number of microwave towers by quite a bit. But like I said, once you increase microwaves to this frequency, uh, they're very short-ranged. Um, they can't broadcast very far. So they're going to have to set up these microwave cooking stations uh, that you will pass along the way to work and, and be barbecued as you go uh, just to make this whole thing a, a viable plan and, and make profit. But ultimately, you know, you could probably see uh, as people start to get sick, they're probably going to blame it on some super virus they discovered or some super bug they discovered. And so they're probably going to have some vaccines and stuff that will be mandatory to uh, take because now they, they, they might say, well, there's an epidemic here, there's an epidemic here, everybody needs vaccinated. And inside these vaccines, Okay, they can put, uh, with microwaves, you can alter people's moods. You can give them hallucinations. You can do all kinds of things when you're dealing with the electromagnetic field and, and the power of it by just changing frequencies. You can, have, you can make people hear audible voices with this, and uh, hopefully that's not coming, but I suspect when Jesus said there will be pestilence, here you have it man-made and remember God said in Revelations 11 he said he hates he or he hates them that destroyed the earth and so something in our future mankind is going to do something to our earth that is irreversible and really upsets the Lord so this is Mike I'm just giving you a heads up stop using your cell phones folks I don't even have one okay if you want to reach me I have a cable you can call me here on the internet. Um, I'm not going to be part of this. And uh, they have already tested this on children. All the article links and things I showed you will be in the link description. This is Mike. Please like and subscribe.